Robinson, are they right to hold out for 12% or is the government right to say, no, you can have 5% in England, but no more than that because it's not affordable? They're right to argue around pay and they're right to make the case around terms and conditions. I do think it is both together. It's come together mm -hmm. uh, at the worst possible well, hang on, time. You've got 5% on, on one end and 12% on the other. Who, who's right here? The government doesn't want to budge. The unions don't want to budge. Would you give them 12%? No, the unions are desperate to sit down around the table and have a conversation with ministers around this who are refusing to discuss pay. If I were Education Secretary, I'd be sat around the table trying to get a compromise in any negotiation. But where's the compromise yeah. then? 5%, 12%? Where's that compromise? You say you'd find a compromise. It's often, so, it's often somewhere in the middle and that's why it's a process of negotiation. It's about pay but it's also about terms and conditions and what teachers tell me they feel is that they're demoralised, the government hasn't had their back mm -hmm. and they want to know that there is hope for the future okay. and that's why we need more teachers in our classrooms too. They're under enormous pressure.